Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. So, it's time for Hungary. Now, they are fascist, but they didn't join the Axis, fortunately. We need to hurry up. We already got a claim, so we can declare war, we just need to position our army. So, I don't think we have to position inside Czechoslovakia, that shouldn't be necessary. We'll just do something like this. No, not like that. Front line. Alright, there we go. That works. Well, actually, let's extend it a little bit into Czechoslovakia. Shouldn't be very hard to take their capital. We can just paint an offensive line like this. That will be fine. Alright, looks reasonable. We just need that planning bonus. So we'll wait a little bit. Now, the Soviet Union will most likely join this war as well, because it will get merged with the other war, but oh well. I'm not too worried about the Soviet Union in this case, because they have to move from my territory to actually get there. I don't think we'll have any problems with that. We don't need some extra resources, but that's just rubber. Rubber isn't as important at the moment, and I can't buy it easily. So let's just wait for the planning bonus. It shouldn't take very long. 32% on these guys. Yeah, we'll just wait a week or two. That should be more than enough. How's our equipment right now? 85%, not bad. We got almost 8,000 artillery. We are getting there. We have a lot more military factories now. I might even start additional production lines for artillery and infantry equipment. I don't think it's really necessary, and it would take a really long time to get maximum production efficiency. I think we're better off dedicating more factories to fighters. So, research is done. That's plus 10% resource gain efficiency. I don't think I'll be going for 1941 techs just yet. And we shouldn't need synthetic oil at this point. We got a lot of oil from Romania. What can we research? I could get mountain infantry too. That's a possibility. What else can we get? We could unlock some support battalions. Logistics company is quite nice. Plus 10 organization, plus 0.30 recovery rate. Minus 10% supply use. Yeah, I kind of like these guys. We could also go for some air techs. Possibly. I could unlock some strategic bombers. Or the heavy fighter. We can get a heavy fighter bonus in our focus tree. So if I get the first heavy fighter, we could then use the bonus for the second one. That's not a bad idea. I kind of like that. Let's do that. Alright, and how's our focus? We need 50 more days. Alright. So, let's get started. Declare war. I want to be calling the allies, but as I said, the war will almost definitely get merged. So, yeah. They will be in this war anyway. And execute the plan. Yep, the war got merged. Hungary joined the allies, not the Axis. Okay. Well, that's great. Not that I'm too worried about Germany at this point. Germany is too busy. If I'll have the time, I'll also go for Yugoslavia. They have some nice resources, and they have a lot of territory. Yeah, as you can see, they have quite a lot of aluminum and chromium. That's not too bad. And I would get a direct border with Italy. I will most likely have to declare war on Italy in order to go to war with Germany, because I can't justify war on Germany, because they have a non-aggression pact with my faction leader, the Soviet Union, and I cannot leave my faction because we are in the same war with the Soviet Union. The war with Czechoslovakia or whatever. <laughs> the Polish-Czechoslovakian war. So as long as this war is here, I cannot leave my faction. Which is slightly unfortunate, but we can get around that. It's not really a problem. And this will be faster than I expected, actually. Yep, they will take some territory from Czechoslovakia, but that doesn't really matter. We'll win this war. We just need to take Budapest faster. So, more factories. Let's assign them to fighters. 
like so. Yep, looks good to me. Carry on. Yeah, but this will be a slightly one-sided war. In fact, we're about to take their capital. They are moving more divisions to defend it. But that's not going to help them all that much. We are starting to surround them. Well then, yeah, this was much faster than I expected it to be. I think we should justify war on Yugoslavia at this point. Yeah, I think we should. 25 political power. Yeah, sure, let's do that. I think that's the best next target. Seems like it. Alright. They are trying. I'll give them that. Also, it's almost 1940. Which means some techs will be cheaper. Come on. Almost there. We're about to take the capital. Yeah, that was quick. Way quicker than I expected it to be. And another factory. Let's see. I don't think we'll need more support equipment. Just keep the production line. I think I'll have to buy some rubber. And Hungary capitulated. Well, that was quick, as I said. So, what did we take? Let's have a look. We took everything. Resource map. There we go. Yep, we got a lot of aluminum. We got steel. Oh, Czechoslovakia kept the steel. Okay. I mean, they are our puppet, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Alright. What is Czechoslovakia doing? Let's have a look. Oh, they almost got their second research slot. Alright. This is what they are working on right now. Okay, carry on then. I can't get control of any states, unfortunately. Alright, that's fine. So, Yugoslavia will be next, I suppose. Might as well start the battle plan. So, we'll just do it like this. Not that it really matters. Yugoslavia should actually be pretty easy, because their capital is fairly close. Mm, no, that's not very good. We can improve that. What if we do it like this? How is it going to progress? Yep, that seems a little bit better. I like it. Okay, carry on. It shouldn't take too long. I think our army is big enough. For Yugoslavia, it should be. How's our equipment status? 86%. Looking good. Maybe we should add some support battalion. Perhaps. Let's have a look. Well, I would have to add support artillery or support anti-air. I'm not really willing to do that. We'll wait for some research. We could unlock the logistics company. It's pretty good. I'll probably do that. Once we're done with radio or something. Resistance to occupation. Right, I should send some troops there, I suppose. Okay. No problem. Can we grab some of these guys? We could just recruit some more troops, it's not really a problem. Military factories, yes. Hold on, we need to switch the production line, right? To a different fighter, yes. Should have done that earlier. So there we go, and close air support. That's still the same one, alright. Why is there no fighter here? That's a little bit strange. Well then, whatever. And we still got more factories. We got 52 military factories, that's a bit crazy actually. 
How many more of these things do we need? Anti-air. Let's have a look. We only got 300 right now. Okay. And I only got one battalion in each division. This will take a while. We are getting seven per day, which is not amazing. I guess it will have to do. We can just assign military factories in advance like this. And they will get automatically assigned here as we get them. What are we constructing right now? We are constructing more military factories. You know what we should do? I think we should build a few forts on our border with Germany. Especially in places like this, where they can attack us from multiple directions. I think that's a good plan, yes. So let's pause this for a moment. We already got a few forts in the area, but more definitely won't hurt. Yep, we'll work on a few. And we should probably repair all that infrastructure. Yeah, we should. It will take a while, but I guess that's fine. How long do we have to wait for that claim on Yugoslavia? Their independence is granted by United Kingdom, but we don't care. Oh, Italy is justifying against Yugoslavia. That's interesting. We might want to hurry up then. We need to wait until what? 14th April. Okay. Italy might declare war on them before we get a chance to do that. Well, we'll try. What about Bulgaria? Do we care about Bulgaria? Let's have a look. Let's check resources. They don't have a lot of resources. I could just leave them alone. We can still take Estonia if we want to. I'm not sure if it's worth it because they are guaranteed by Denmark. And I just don't think they are important enough strategically. We might just go to war with the Axis after Yugoslavia. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We are pretty much ready. Let's recruit some more divisions. So, recruit... Oh yeah, we are still recruiting these guys, right. I forgot about them. We can add one more run, perhaps. Yeah, let's add one more run. And, okay, we're done with our focus. We just need 140 more days to get our additional research slot. This will be a fairly useless focus, because it's not like I will be getting nuclear tech anytime soon. But we need it for the additional research slot, so we'll work on that. We have a lot of army experience points. What's going on? Japanese diplomats in Berlin. Oh, okay. That means they are going to join the Axis. Not that it really matters all that much. Although, it does mean the Soviet Union will be at war with Japan. That might be a good thing. It will keep them busy. Well, we'll see. Japan is expanding quite a lot. Japan usually starts losing eventually. Or at least that's what happens most of the time from my limited experience. But that's not really a concern for us. <laughs> Czechoslovakia looks a little bit awkward. I'm kind of salty that they got the province with the resources, but oh well. It's fine, maybe we should import some resources. Let's just import that rubber. Who can we import it from? The Netherlands? I mean, I guess that's fine. We're not at war with them. Right, we are working on that justification. It will take a little bit of time. So we need to wait. But we'll get more divisions that we will be able to use. Oh, also, I think we should get a garrison here. Yes. We should. What's going on here? That's just one Soviet division. But we need a garrison here. So let's just wait for these guys that we are recruiting right now. And we'll garrison them in this area. I wouldn't want anyone to land here. That would be kind of bad for us. I'm just saying. How much longer do we have to wait? They are literally almost done. 97%. I could deploy them right now, but there's no need. And there they are. Okay, I might change my recruitment actually. Hold on, let's pause the game for a moment. This will be a separate army for now. We can assign a level 4 dude. Sure, why not? And this will be a garrison. So, garrison area. 
over here. And that's good enough. So what do we want to recruit? Hold on. I'm thinking about some motorized divisions. We could get some elite motorized divisions. Let's remove this entire production line for now. And so I could change this to elite if I want to. This will prioritize them over everything else. We could also replace cavalry with proper motorized divisions. We aren't actually producing any motorized and right now, and we probably should. Alright, let's do that then. It will require rubber, unfortunately. So I might have to import some more. Alright, let's move some factories. We will have very low production efficiency for a while, but oh well. That's 2.38 per day. Alright, and now we can start some motorized divisions. Or we can upgrade our cavalry divisions. I'm not a bit torn about what's better. I don't want to upgrade these right now, because we simply do not have the equipment to fill these divisions. I'd rather build a stockpile. You know what, let's just recruit some regular infantry divisions for now. Yeah. We can do one run of five. But I'll prioritize upgrades for now. These are not as important. We want to upgrade and reinforce as a priority right now. It's just that as a general rule, you should always have something in the recruitment queue, even if it's not prioritized. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And now we just have to wait. Also, we have enough political power to do something, if we want to. What can we get? Good question. I could get minus 10% industrial research time. I could also get some bonuses, either for our air or for our navy. What else can we get? Plus 10% or minus 10% armor research time. I'd like to get some armor divisions eventually, it's just not as high priority. I will prioritize air more than that. Maybe we should get the air guy. What can we get here? Minus 10% air research time. Naval bomber bonuses? No. Light aircraft. Plus 10% agility, plus 10% maximum speed. Yeah, I don't care about carrier fighters. Heavy fighter and tactical bomber. I'm not sure which guy will be the best here. I might just save my political power for now. I could just get a flat bonus, but this will not be useful enough at the moment. So I don't really care. I think we'll just save our points for now. Another thing I could do is switch my trade laws from export focus to limited exports, for example. It will reduce my factory output, however, so I don't necessarily want that. And I don't think I want free trade either, although... Maybe. It will increase our factory output, but... It will also increase resources to market from 50% to 80%. It might be worth doing, we have quite a lot of resources at this point. Maybe we should consider that. Yeah, we are exporting so much, and we have a fairly large surplus of aluminum, and even steel. But 80% is a lot, I don't think I want that. Let's just save our political power for now. How much longer do we have to wait? Two more months, right? Yep, April the 14th. Okay, then. And what about that resistance to occupation? We probably shouldn't be ignoring that. Let's see. We can increase the garrison size. So, garrison area. Like this. Okay. Looks good. And what else? 
Okay, these regions. Well, I can just increase the garrison area again. That's probably the easiest way to handle this. This is the easiest way to handle this. Was that it? I think I used one too many. Okay, this region and this region. Okay, let's modify that for a moment. So, not this one. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, carry on then. No, hold on, I messed up still. Yes, I did. There we go. Bit of an awkward garrison area, but who cares? It should work just fine. We just need enough divisions in this army. I think we have enough. Yeah, we got one each in the ports. That's exactly what I wanted. So, two more months. Will we finish any important research in that time? Well, we'll finish radio. And improve the infantry equipment. Which is plus 5% soft attack. To all infantry, so that's nice. More military factories. Let's assign them to motorized. Sounds good. Alright then. Oh, we are lacking some resources. We need rubber. We should be able to import some. Trade. Rubber from the Netherlands. We could import some from someone else. Nah, the Netherlands. It's fine. Hold on, I can check the dates. Okay, we'll declare war before Italy finishes justifying their war. That's good. But we might want to hurry up with that. Because I want as much territory as possible. We could totally attack Greece after that, if we want to. I could even attack Bulgaria and then attack Turkey, but... That might be a little bit too much, perhaps? Let's check the resources. Resource map mod. Maybe that's not too much. Turkey does have some nice resources. They got 20 steel. I don't know, we'll see. I don't want to wait too long with Germany. We'll decide once we take Yugoslavia. Just need to make that happen faster. How many fighters do we have now? Let's have a look. Well, we're working on it. It's going rather slowly. 26 in reserves. Maybe we should move them around a bit. We can move them a little bit closer. Let's see. Yes, closer to Yugoslavia, preferably. There's an airport over here, so we can use that one. Off you go. And the radio is finished. That's plus 5% reinforce rate. Okay, and what do we want next? We got a 50% bonus here, so we could get improved computing machine in 93 days. That's a 5% research time bonus. Let's get that. Research bonuses are nice, and the sooner we get them, the more we'll get out of them. This is going really well so far. I'm looking forward to our war with the Axis. That's going to be exciting. One more month. How's our equipment? 98%, nice. We just still need 2,000 artillery. But we almost got enough anti-air, nice. In fact, we got enough, literally, right now. And now we can go for the additional research slot. Alright, time to change some production. Remove all these factories here. And... I think we should work on some air force at this point. So we'll assign more factories here. I'll just have to import more rubber, which is fairly annoying. Or I cannot get as many close air support. We could do it like this, that's acceptable. What do we need now? Yeah, literally one rubber. I mean, we technically don't need it, we'll just take a production penalty. 
from lack of resources. This is actually fine. Yeah, this is fine. Give me that war justification. Hurry up. We are recruiting some dodds. Any more requests? We still got some requests for reinforcements, mostly artillery. And we got a lot of requests for upgrades. Right, yeah, because we still have to upgrade a lot of infantry equipment 1 to infantry equipment 2. Because that's a thing. We do have 100% infantry equipment, but a lot of that is still weapons 1 as opposed to weapons 2. And we will get weapons 3 in not too distant future. The weapons 3 tech is a 1942 tech, but I can still get one 50% bonus. So that's kind of the plan. I think that's the last 50% bonus to infantry that we can get in our focus tree. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And Germany declared war on France. It's happening! I'll see you next time.